back with the slug testing at 100 yards uh, Dreamline 22 uh, my last video I showed you these uh, 24 8 grain 217s did marvelous yesterday um, shooting those again today but I really wanted to give these a chance so I'm shooting 930 with the 25 grains these are 23 I had a ugly mess last time so what I did was dropped it down to number two for a lower pressure obviously speed and I got an interesting uh, grouping I do have wind I don't know if you guys can see it but it is picking up a little bit uh, I may have one other issue I'm gonna have to go through on the crony and uh, double check I wish I had it while I was shooting out here but like I said mentioned uh, I'm on my lunch hour so it makes it difficult so let's go down there real fast and we're gonna take a look and I'll show you what those H&N uh, 23 grains were doing they're 217 by the way And I got a little better uh, visual targets, so. And the uh, center three inch round was uh, stick on was my sight in. And unfortunately, I did have barrel movement, so I'm gonna also have to check my uh, uh, my barrel clamp there, barrel band. I may not have snugged it up tight enough. Okay. So. That one's on the ground. So that was my sight in. Uh, that was the NSA 25 grains. Not too bad. <laughs> Literally, other than three, my thumb covers it at 100 yards. All right, not my pinky, but my thumb, and I don't have big hands, so. Okay, this, again, I uh, brought it over here with the 20, uh, 25 grains, or 24.8, I round up. NSA's here, obviously, still pretty big. That was three inch with the wind, not overall too bad. Now, this is where I lowered the pressure, and uh, I did drop off the rag because I didn't fill it all the way back up. So I did have like these three, but <laughs> this horizontal movement and is consistent right here and here. This was my very first shot, and I thought they were all gonna follow. I mean, this was where I kept it the whole time, and that first one went almost dead nut, as you can see. Uh, but then it, it had this weird string <laughs> where it was dropping down like a mill dot or half mill, and that string just kept going. I mean, I did get a good little grouping there, but it's... I don't know. So I'm going to have to see about that. Maybe it's just the pellets, and I don't know what speed they're at. I mean, slugs. Sorry. I don't know what speed these are at yet, so I'm going to have to grab the crony, uh, maybe today or the weekend here, and just see what these are doing on my number two setting. Uh, that's probably the third time I ever used that. Honestly, I just go full power or nothing. Um, I don't need to shoot in barns or lower or change ammo. Once I find an ammo that works, I don't jump around and switch. I use what works. Uh, a lot of people I see that go through a lot of pellets and a lot of slugs when they already have what's already perfect for their use. But it's always that chase, and uh, you can get caught up in it. Still not bad, uh, just a weird horizontal uh, string. And I'm going to see, and what I need to do is, uh, which helped me out when I was doing springers, was record myself. And I found a lot of mistakes, little mistakes, that helped me improve but uh yeah i just wanted to share this with you guys so these are the h&n 23 grain nsa 25 nsa 25 that was a sight in but uh still i mean one thumb can cover it 100 yards i want better of course i'll chase for accuracy and i do understand that but once i have a good friggin uh, idea on what these are going to be doing I'll go with it and tweak them until I can't tweak them no more. Then I'll start chasing after others. But, uh, I know these are dished. 
Uh, I believe both of them are dished. So, not sure if a flat base will make a difference. And obviously, that's one thing I'm going to have to find out. <clears throat> and, you know. Okay, just wanted to let you guys know what I had back here. I mean, I do have a whole big hill behind me, asphalt. So this is what I have behind me, two sheets. Uh, going through this, no problem, two sheets of plywood. So 25 grains at 100 yards. Uh, it is plywood too, it's not solid oak. So it is what it is, and uh, I'll keep you guys informed. And this is where I'm shooting from. You want to say it ain't 100 yards? That's fine. I have uh, my rangefinder. <laughs> and I have many other videos that I've already posted with my rangefinder indicating that this is 100 yards. At another point, it is 97, but I do have my full 100, so. Okay, you guys enjoy. Hope to keep you guys updated and uh, shoot them if you got them. And uh, the weather is beautiful today.